okay so hello everyone welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the second problem of uh, me circuits 2021 of hacker at the problem name is natural zord elements so without wasting our time let's discuss this problem we have been given an integer n and uh, we must find the minimum number of elements that should be eradicated from the set that should be removed from the set s such that the bitwise zord of the elements would become zero and the set is uh, we have been given some n and we have to consider the elements starting from 1 to the n and the all the elements are going to be distinct from 1 to n basically it is a numbers uh, natural numbers uh, up to n and we have to remove the minimum number of elements such that the bitwise zord of the remaining element should become zero and uh, we have to output the minimum number of elements you have to remove then the k space separated integers denoting that which elements that i have removed and if there are multiple solutions output the lexicographically largest one okay so first we need to focus upon the minimum number of elements that i should have to remove to have my bitwise sort of all the elements of the remaining element should become zero so i should have to accompany this problem with the certain tags that i want to cover up like this problem can be solved with the help of basic maths uh, many people tag this problem with the help of uh, like tag this problem with the bits and all of that if you have the some little knowledge about the bits and some key concept that you are aware of then you can easily solve this problem without requiring a uh, very deep knowledge of uh, base uh, bit manipulation and all that stuff so, okay so let's move further to understand this problem with the help of certain examples and build up the idea to approach this problem and find out the best solution let's move further okay so one thing that i have to mention over here that uh, if you are unaware about this uh, property of the bitwise zord of the whole numbers then you must have to learn this and uh, the key concept is if you have some elements starting from 0 0 1 2 3 4 then 5 let me write down some elements then i will explain how it is happening okay so you can also prove that also it is very much simple it is not requiring a like higher concept of some math so like this stuff okay so i have just listed down some first n whole numbers okay so if you try to break this whole number in the bunch of four like consecutive sub array of size four starting with zero zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let us write down some eleven also and so on like that okay and the concept is quite much simple the bitwise zero of this would always come out to be zero always come out of this if you are not aware about that then no need to worry about now you need to keep remember or memorize this thing okay so let us try to have proof this like we have this zero and a binary representation of one would come would be like that then binary representation of two would be like zero and binary representation of three would be like this one if we find out the bitwise zord of all the uh, uh, all the elements 0 1 2 3 you can easily see the number of ones present over here is even so it is will be 0 and here it is also even so it will be 0 so this number in the decimal form will be 0 and similarly you can prove this for 4 5 6 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then 10 12 13 14 15 will always have bitwise or 0 so in the bunch of 4 sub array size of 4 starting with 0 all the elements have the bitwise or 0 so you can easily see that uh, I have the set starting from one. I not I haven't I have not to consider this uh, zero. Okay. So if my sub array or my n, we will be given some n, and the set would be starting from one to n. Now you can easily see if my n is a uh, if I will take a remainder or if I will divide my n. With 4, I can have a remainder equal to 0, I can have a remainder equal to 1, I can have a remainder equal to 2, I can have a remainder equal to 3. I am basically listing it down because it will make us the understanding the 
solution as well as the approach easier how suppose n mod 4 is 3 so what are the values of n n can be 3 n can be 7 n can be uh, 11 also and also like that okay so if n is 3 i have the number starting from 1 to 3 uh, the bitwise zord would be always 0 and if n is 7 i have to consider the number starting from 1 to 3 4 5 6 7 so this 1 to 3 have the bitwise zord as 0 and 4 5 6 6 7 is has also the bitwise zord as 0 so overall from 1 to 7 the bitwise zord would be 0 similarly up to 11 also so whenever n uh, on dividing n by 4 and the remainder would come out to be 3 i can easily say minimum number of operations or minimum number of elements that i would have i am going to remove to make my set the bitwise order of the remaining elements uh, equal to 0 would be 0 so i am not going to remove this L, any of the elements in this case okay so whenever on dividing n by 4 i will get the remainder as 3 our answer my answer would be 0 okay so let us try to understand this uh, or extending this concept for n equal to let's say n equal to 0 okay so first i will consider for n equal to 0 then i will talk about 1 and 2 so suppose n modulus 4 is coming out to be 0 that is n okay so um, yes i can say that so n modulus 4 is coming out to be zero. So n can be 4 n can be 8 n can be 12 okay so how i can remove let us try to understand can this 1 to 4 can have the bitwise or 0 it is obviously not 1 to 3 has bitwise or 0 so i am taking this 4 as extra so bitwise or would not come out to be 0 because 1 to 3 has 0 so 0 or 4 would always come out to be 4 and similarly i will consider up to let's say i have n equal to 8 it means that 1 to 3 have bitwise or equal to 0 and 4 to 7 has bitwise or equal to 0 again then 0 zord 0 and now i have 8 then zord 8 would always come out to be 8 it means that only a single element is uh, destroying the condition of bitwise or equal to 0 okay so it means that if i will eradicate one of the element like uh, if i will eliminate the n itself that is we have a set of elements starting from one and ending up to n and if i will eliminate n from my set i will have the number n minus 1 that is n minus 1 numbers starting from 1 now you can easily see if my n minus 1 is a uh, n minus 1 has a remainder equal to 3 on dividing n by 4 so uh, this gives me the idea that minimum number of operations when n is a uh, n gives the remainder as 4 or think sorry n gives the remainder as 0 when divided by 4 would be 1 that is i will eliminate a single number and that number is n from my set then my bitwise zord would become 0 for all the remaining elements so why it would become 0 if i if i will eliminate this n my new number is n minus 1 that is the maximum number and this n minus 1 is a uh, will give us the remainder as 3 when divided by 4 so it means that in case of 0 when n is uh, modulus of 4 when, when n modulus modulus of 4 is exactly equal to 0 i will remove a single element and that element is capital n okay so now the here it is done so let me do some erasing stops okay so let me erase this stuff so i have talked about n mod 4 equal to 0 and i have also talked about n mod 4 equal to 3 now the condition is what about n mod 4 okay so okay oh i should have to do this first okay so no need to worry about almost it is done okay now the condition lies is what will happen when n modulus 4 exactly equal to 1 okay when n modulus 4 is exactly equal to 1 one little thing that should be absorbed i must guess that this is going to be like very much tricky part and how it is going to be like a tricky part i don't know okay so when n modulus 4 is, is exactly equal to 1 uh, ending at this 5 you can easily see when n mod 4 is exactly equal to 1 
my values would correspond to this 5 or this 9 and this 13 also now that is n mod 4 equal to 1 then 1 to 5 then 1 to 9 and so on the thing that should be observed is uh, uh, as I've talked about uh, for bunch of four pairs like 0 1 2 3 will have a bitwise or 0 and 4 5 6 7 will have a bitwise or of again 0 now the key observation is if we have the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay then the bitwise or of four, bunch of four pairs so starting from 2 3 4 5 will always be 0 6, 7, 8, 10 will always be 0, 10, 11, 12, 13 will always be 0. Now that uh, you must be wondering how I can say that it will be 0. You can just list it down and you can just prove it by that the bitwise word is coming on to be 0. Then you must also wonder that how I came up to this idea. It is nothing like a practice if you do the questions related to bitwise or more frequently, more and more, then you will have a key observant over these type of properties. Okay, so the bitwise order of this four would be zero, and this six, seven, eight, nine would also be zero. So whenever I will have five or I will have nine, I will try to remove this one from this set, and this is going to be minimum. So my answer would be like remove this one, and uh, the element should be that is minimum operation is one, and the element removed is one. Now comes the n mod four equal equal to two. That is I will have I am just wondering about the elements like 6 and elements like 10 okay now it is going to be like very very much simple you can easily see i have the bitwise order of 2 3 4 5 as 0 and similarly 6 7 8 9 as 0 so if i will have the 6 i can you you can easily see i have the elements like 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i am just considering about 6 and you we all know that 2 3 4 5 has the bitwise order of 0 i will remove the 6 and i will remove this one so my and similarly for the 10 I will remove this 1 and I will remove this 10 so that uh, 2 3 4 5 will have the bitwise order of 0 and 6 7 8 9 will have the bitwise order of 0 and overall I will have the bitwise order 0 for the remaining elements if and if I will remove 1 and the number n itself. So answer in this schedule will come out to be 2 and you need to take care that I need to print n and then print 1. And the reason is uh, note that the lexicographically largest one we have to print. So first print and then print one. So this is going to be the entire key concept for solving this problem. Uh, okay, so the uh, it it is like basically the simple O of one solutions for every test case. If n mod four is three, print zero. If n mod four is four, print one and the uh, uh, number that I am going to remove. And if n mod 4 is exactly equal to 1, print the number of minimum operation is 1 and I will remove the 1 itself. Otherwise, that is when n is a mod, when n, when we will divide n by 4 and we will get remainder as 2. I will print the minimum operation is 2 and I will remove the number n first, then I will remove the number 1 first. Okay, note that I will have to print in the lexicographical largest order. Let us try to submit this code and check it out if this is going to work fine or not. Yes, it is good. All the test cases are passed. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.